Have you ever considered how the people you surround yourself with can influence your spiritual energy? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? Some individuals can uplift us, while others might inadvertently drain us, leaving our spirits feeling depleted. We often overlook the impact of such influences on our spiritual well-being. But today, we're diving deep into this concept, casting light on those who might unknowingly be sapping our spiritual vitality. It is time to identify the seven types of people that might be draining your spiritual energy. Number one, energy vampire. First on the list are the energy vampires. Imagine a vampire, not the kind who lurks in shadows, but rather the ones who blend in with everyday life. They don't crave blood, but energy. These are the energy vampires, individuals who sap your vitality, leaving you feeling drained, fatigued, and out of sorts. Energy vampires can come in any shape or form, a demanding boss, a hypercritical friend, or even a needy relative. They feed on your emotional, mental, and spiritual energy. They thrive on creating chaos and pushing your buttons, often leaving you feeling exhausted and empty. Now you might ask, why is it crucial to steer clear of these energy vampires? Well, let's think of your spiritual energy as a well. This well fuels your creativity, your passion, your drive, and your joy. When an energy vampire is constantly drawing from your well, it can run dry. You may find yourself feeling depleted, struggling to find motivation, or even battling with negativity. Avoiding energy vampires is not about shunning individuals who need help or support. It's about recognizing when the energy exchange becomes one-sided and unhealthy. Number two, the pessimists. Next up, we have the pessimists. Now these folks can be a real challenge to your spiritual growth. Picture someone who always sees the glass as half empty, someone who finds the dark cloud in every silver lining. That's your classic pessimist. Their energy is like a heavy fog, pulling you down and obscuring the sunlight of positivity. You see, pessimists have this knack for spreading their negative vibes around. They're like a radio station, always broadcasting gloomy tunes. When you're around them, it's hard not to get sucked into their pessimistic worldview. Their negativity can stick to you, tainting your perspective and making you see life through their gloomy lens. But here's the thing. You're not obliged to tune into their station. You have the power to choose your company wisely. Surround yourself with people who inspire positivity and growth. Remember, you are the company you keep. Avoid pessimists to maintain a positive outlook. Number three, the narcissists. Let's move on to the narcissists. Ah, narcissists, they are the masters of disguise, often appearing charming and charismatic. But beneath the surface, they're often focused on their own needs, desires, and ambitions with little regard for others. Their inflated sense of self-importance can overshadow your own self-esteem and self-worth, leaving you feeling diminished and devalued. These individuals can easily manipulate situations to their advantage, making you feel like the one at fault, even when you're not. This constant self-doubt and guilt can be incredibly draining, both mentally and spiritually. It's important to remember that their views and opinions are not a reflection of your worth, but rather a reflection of their own insecurities. So be mindful, be aware, establish boundaries, and protect your spiritual energy from their self-serving tendencies. Remember, your worth is not defined by anyone else but you. Narcissists can be charming, but their self-centered nature can be detrimental to your spiritual health. Number four, the gossip mongers. Coming up next are the gossip mongers. In every social circle, there's a high chance you'll encounter the gossip mongers. These are the individuals who thrive on drama, savoring each juicy tidbit of hearsay and rumor. They're often the source of the latest news and seem to relish the role of town crier. 
but don't be fooled by their seemingly harmless chatter. Gossip mongers spread not just stories, but also negative energy. Their words can sow seeds of doubt, mistrust and discord among friends and acquaintances. Engaging with them, even as a passive listener, can drain you of your positive energy, cloud your judgment, and disturb your peace of mind. Remember, your spiritual energy is precious. Protect it from the corrosive influence of gossip and rumor. Be mindful of the conversations you engage in and the people you choose to surround yourself with. Keep your distance from gossip mongers to maintain your inner peace. Number five, the jealous kind. Now let's discuss the jealous kind. When we talk about jealousy, we're not referring to the occasional twinge of envy. We're talking about the type of people who are constantly comparing themselves to others, always wanting what they don't have. This type of jealousy is a toxic energy. It's like a parasite that feeds off your positive vibes, draining you of your happiness and contentment. It's a negativity that can be felt and it's not something you want around you. Why? Because it's contagious. It's easy to get sucked into their world of comparisons, of never being satisfied, of always wanting more. And that's not a world conducive to spiritual growth. Spiritual well-being thrives in an environment of gratitude, of contentment, of celebrating others' successes. It's about being happy for others, not wanting what they have. So to maintain your spiritual health, it's best to steer clear of the jealous kind. Jealousy breeds negativity. Stay clear of such individuals to foster positive energy. Number six, the constant critics. Next on our list are the constant critics. These individuals have an uncanny knack for finding fault in everything around them. Their world is a stage where they are the prime reviewers, and unfortunately, their reviews seldom carry a positive note. They are quick to point out your mistakes, but slow to acknowledge your achievements. They may be a friend, a family member, or a colleague, but their constant criticism can start to chip away at your self-esteem. The constant critic's words can feel like a barrage of negativity that over time can make you second-guess your decisions, doubt your abilities, and question your worth. It's like being trapped in a thunderstorm of disapproval where every drop is a negative comment designed to drench your spirit. However, it's important to remember that their criticism is more of a reflection of their inner state than your worth. It's their insecurities, their disappointments, their unfulfilled dreams that find an outlet in constant criticism. But you don't have to be the recipient of this negative energy. You have the power to choose who influences your life, your decisions, and your spiritual journey. So steer clear of the constant critics. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who encourage you, and who believe in you. Remember, it's okay to take constructive criticism, but constant criticism can drain your spiritual energy. Constructive criticism is beneficial, but constant criticism can drain your spiritual energy. Number seven, the manipulators. Last but not least, we have the manipulators. Now these individuals are crafty as they are cunning. They are masters at twisting circumstances and conversations to their advantage. It's like they're playing chess and the people around them are merely pawns in their grand strategy. Manipulators have an uncanny ability to understand human emotions, but instead of empathizing, they use this knowledge to exploit others for their personal gains. It's all a game to them, where the end goal is to serve their interests regardless of the cost to others. They are like puppeteers, pulling strings from behind the scenes, and if you aren't careful, you might find yourself dancing to their tune. This dance, however, is far from a joyful jig. It's a dangerous waltz that can leave you emotionally and spiritually drained, your self-worth in tatters. So how do you protect yourself from these manipulators? It starts with awareness. Recognize the signs of manipulation, such as guilt tripping, gaslighting, and constant deflection of responsibility. It's important to set boundaries and stick to them. Remember, it's okay to say no. 
you don't owe anyone an explanation for prioritizing your well-being. Here's the key takeaway. Your spiritual journey is a sacred one, and it deserves to be treated with respect. Don't let anyone undermine your progress or use you as a stepping stone for their selfish pursuits. Manipulators can be harmful to your spiritual health. Be vigilant and keep your distance. Conclusion Let's recap on the seven types of people to avoid to maintain your spiritual health. First, we covered energy vampires, those who drain your positivity and leave you feeling depleted. Next, we touched on pessimists, individuals who can pull you down with their negative outlook on life. We then moved on to narcissists, people who are self-absorbed and lack empathy for others. Fourthly, we highlighted the gossip mongers, those who thrive on spreading rumors, creating a toxic environment. Next up were the jealous kind, individuals who are unable to celebrate your success without feeling envious. We then delved into the constant critics, people who are quick to point out your faults, but seldom appreciate your strengths. Lastly, we discussed manipulators, those who use subtle tactics to influence your thoughts and actions for their own benefit. By recognizing these personalities, you can better protect your spiritual energy and maintain a positive, healthy environment for yourself. Remember, your spiritual energy is precious. Protect it by choosing the right company. Thank you for watching, dear friends. Have a wonderful day.